All right, so today we have a clip here of a Fox News host saying that Joe Biden is pushing us toward a race war. Here it is. I think it's actually undeniable that we are living in the least racist moment in human history. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're only four seconds in. What does that mean? We're living in the least racist, racist moment in history? Yeah, coming from a white guy, I'm sure that that's true. I'm sure that that's 100% true. We're living in the least racist moment in history. Can you please def explain what the fuck that means? That we're living in the this right now when I'm speaking. This is the least racist moment in history. What does that mean? Oh my god! And within that context, we're in the least racist country on the planet. Okay, I. I mean, I was laughing and stuff, but like, I, I, how am I supposed to take you seriously? Are you serious? Are you fucking stupid? Are you that fucking dumb? I know you're on Fox News and you have to do the Republican grift, fear-mongering, race-mongering thing. I know you have to do it. I know you have to do it for your job. But are you that fucking disconnected? Are you that fucking stupid? The least racist country in on the planet? Are you joking? That has to be a joke. I, I don't even I don't even need to list off examples. Of how this country is racist. That that nobody thinks that, okay? Except for apparently racist white people. <laughs> it's not it's not really I'm I'm not laughing at like I just we're only nine seconds in, guys. This this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a tough one. And we are almost at the least racist moment in the entirety of our own personal American history. It's I, I don't know. I don't know where this guy lives. I don't know what I don't know what little world he lives in. Um, I, I can't even remember this guy's na name now. Will Kane, I think. I don't know uh, what little white person bubble Will Kane here lives in. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's on. The least racist moment, least racist country. Uh, just Amer again, this is what I was saying in my other video. Conservatives. White conservatives, especially, these people, they literally think racism's not real. They think racism does not exist. And if you think racism is, does, does not exist, number one, you're probably racist. You're, pro you're definitely a bigot. And number three, I will never, ever, in any capacity or any context in my entire life, take you seriously. I mean, like, if this, he was doing, like, stand-up, I mean, I'd probably be laughing, but I will never take th this guy serious. I will never be able to take anyone seriously that says, well, I don't see the racism. I, it, it, we're not a racist country. Yes, we are. Yes, the fuck we are. This country was built on racism. That's a fact. It's not an opinion. You can't dispute it. And if you do want to argue with that, again, you're probably a bigot. I say almost because take a look at this Gallup poll in June 2008, just months before Barack. Take a look at this poll. I have proof racism isn't real. A poll. It's a poll. Proof. We asked pe what people thought about something. They did a poll and it, this is undeniable, undeniable proof. Straight facts here. A Gallup poll. What, what was this Gallup poll? Uh, what was this Gallup poll measuring? How much racism there is in America? I'm sorry. Is his... Is his argument for America being the least racist country a fucking Gallup poll? Are you kidding? I mean, this guy really, he needs, he needs to put the, the colorful afro on, the honky red nose, the white makeup, and uh, one of those funny, like, you know, the things around their neck and, like, dance around and stuff, and he'd be a great clown. I bet you he would make way more money being a clown because he's doing a really good job so far. Obama won the presidential election. Nearly 70% of Americans believed race relations were somewhat or very good. That doesn't... What the... <laughs> this guy's literally using a Gallup poll about how Americans feel about race relations <laughs> as evidence that we live in the least racist nation in the country. How about you talk about all of the legislation that has existed for way longer than you've even been around, motherfucker, that discriminates against minorities and black people and Hispanic people? Why don't you talk about that instead of a Gallup poll, a fucking Gallup poll? By Obama's last year, the number of Americans who had a positive view of race relations dropped by nearly 20 points, including less than half of black adults. Additionally, 
The number of black Americans who worry a great deal about race went from around 40% during Obama's presidency to nearly 70% today. The number of white Americans who I, worry... I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is, Mr. Will Kane. I seriously wonder why that would be. Uh, I really, I, I, you know, I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but I, I have an idea. I have an idea of why that is, but, you know, I just, mm, you know, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just, I can't, I can't, I can't figure it out. ...about race nearly doubled in that time span as well. Between the last year of Trump's presidency and the first year of Biden, the number of Americans who worried a great deal about race increased from 31% to almost 50%. If you did a word count, by the way, for the New York Times, for example, on the word racist over the last 15 years, what you would see, one of those word bubbles is an absolute explosion. All the race mongering, all the division, it's working. Just over a day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, it is. It's working really good for you, and you are actively doing it as you are criticizing someone who you are saying is doing it when they're not. Do you realize how fucking dumb this makes you look? I mean, this guy will probably never watch my video. Maybe he will, but Will Kane, anyone from Fox News, if you're watching this, you are unbelievably fucking stupid. You are literally criticizing what you are doing right now in the moment. You are doing what you are saying. Oh, yeah, that's... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ago, we were headed to that moment of judging each other according to the content of our character. Who? 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 Who was heading to that moment? Who? Where? Where were we? Where were we getting to that moment? When was that going to happen? These 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 white conservatives they love to say, oh, well, I, I, you know, it's it's too bad that we can't live in what Martin Luther King Jr. said, where we we judge each other on the contents of our character and not the color of our skin, like they know anything about what Martin Luther King Jr. actually stood for. But also, it's just like, do I don't do I need to list off the astronomical amount of just. Black people, not not even talking about Hispanics and all the other minority groups, black people that have been killed by racist white people. Do I need to bring up Ahmaud Arbery? Do I need to bring up Breonna Taylor? Do I need to bring up Trayvon Martin? Do I need to mention those names? I don't feel like I do, but I will if I have to. Are you serious? I mean, again, I know it's Fox News and I know that this is what they do all the time, but I feel like it's important that we call out we call them out on their bullshit, and so far, all of this has been bullshit. And not the they're, he's, they're just shoveling it right into the viewers' mouths. Just shovel, 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 shovel. ...of our skin. But since that time, politicians have used our worst instincts to pit us against one another for their own political gain. Who does that sound like, buddy? Who does that sound like, buddy? Who, who do you think does stuff like that? Does this, I bet you this guy doesn't own a mirror. I bet you he doesn't own any of them. I bet you there's no mirrors in the Fox News studio either. They are happy to tear apart our carpool in exchange for your support at the voting booth. What? Telling lies, creating boogeymen, reinforcing tribes. I can't. I um, guys, I'm 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 really struggling to get through this. I, you are literally just fucking. Uh, he's just reading off Fox News' business model. He's literally just reading off exactly what Fox News' business model is. Just uh, straight to the camera. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. Joe Biden will divide us. He'll tear us down. He'll fill us with hate. And you guys know I made a video a couple days ago talking about Joe Biden and some of the comments he made at Howard University and how he said white supremacy is the number one domestic threat. And I also don't have this pulled up, and I'm not going to pull it up this time, just this time. This is the only time I'm not going to pull it up, but I am going to reference it. Donald Trump's own Department of Homeland Security said that white supremacists will be the number one threat to our nation. The number one domestic threat is white supremacy, white supremacist. Donald Trump's own Department of Homeland Security said that. So if Donald Trump said it, you know, are, are you going to criticize him for saying it too? No, you're just criticizing Joe Biden for saying it because, again, it's the Republican grift and these people are full of shit. For his own gain, for power. One person who is running to stop that from happening is Nikki Haley. She's the former oh, ambassador. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. That was all just like an intro to Nikki Haley? Now I'm really disappointed. I don't want to see her on my screen. God. That was terrible. 
to the UN and the governor of South Carolina. Nikki, great to have you with yeah. us this evening. Great to be with you. Why is this happening? Why do politicians... <laughs> Why is what happening? What? Why is this happening? <laughs> well, if, if you looked in the mirror, Will, I could, I could give you some answers. <laughs> like, what the fuck? ...insist on dividing us and seemingly pushing us toward a race war. You know, you look, inflation's running rampant. You've got wokeism in schools. You've got... Shut up about the wokeism. The if we're going to use polls as uh, the end-all, say-all for apparently how we measure uh, social issues like something like racism, if we're going to fucking uh, use polls to talk about all this stuff, you guys can Google this right now. Pull your phone out right now. Pause this video. Go on your computer. Whatever you're doing, go and look this up right now. The majority of Americans think woke is a good thing. So if we're going to use Fox News' logic, which is just use polls to make my argument, um, the majority of Americans think that there's nothing wrong with woke. So that's not a criticism. I'm tired of hearing about uh, wokeism in schools. If you don't like wokeism, send your child to a private school, homeschool your fucking kid. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm tired of hearing about wokeism in schools. If you don't like people being alert and aware that there is racial injustice and racial prejudice in this country, you're a fucking racist and you can go and just be somewhere else. I, I, I like I'm just I'm it's 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 not going anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. You can go somewhere. Crime at all time highs. You've got, you know, illegal immigrants to totally open border. You no, no, that's a lie. It's just a lie. I, it's just a fucking lie. This is every single thing except for the poll that they put up. Which maybe that's not, I didn't even research it. It could have been, they could have put up a fake poll. But every fucking thing out of these two people's mouths has just been the biggest, steaming, smelly, huge pile of horse dungy I have ever heard in my life. And I know I say that a lot. This clip is not even three minutes and it's already 13 minute long video almost. We've got China on the march. China on the march. How about you talk about how Joe Biden has, and this is something I think you can, either praise or criticize Joe Biden for, depending on where you sit on the political spectrum. How much you talk about how Joe Biden has literally continued the trade wars that Donald Trump started with China, in fact, actually done more, more to affect, uh, to, to escalate these trade wars than Trump did. They're very close when it comes to trade policy, but they're not talking about that. Why are they not talking about that? Why? And that has nothing to do with race. And okay, great. Guess what? Black people still experience racism. Hispanic people still experience racism. So guess what? Yeah. Is some of that stuff issues? No, not really. It's really not. You know, the border thing, whatever, whatever. She goes, but guess what? Black people still experience racism. That's still a problem. And if you don't like that, you can literally go fuck yourself. If you're going to be racist, you can go fuck yourself. I'm sorry. But I just, I have no sympathy for racists. I have no sympathy for someone who's going to be racist. I have none. And the idea that he brought up white supremacy goes... Shut the fuck up. You are white. You don't have to worry about it because you're white. You are fucking white. You don't have to worry about white supremacy because you're white. Why does it offend you so much? Why does it offend you? If you get offended by someone like Joe Biden going to a historically black university and saying that white supremacy is the number one domestic threat to our nation, you're a fucking racist. You're a bigot. You're a piece of shit. It goes back to exactly what you said. It started with Obama. Now it's with Biden. The leftists insert race into everything. No, they don't. You stupid fucking idiot. Unbelievably dumb. She, I mean, it, this is great for, you know, the crazy ass Republicans that are probably going to vote for her. This is the perfect rhetoric. She's doing a really good job at the Republican propaganda thing. It's like really, really good. But it's just like. <sighs> I I don't know. I, I'm just I'm tired of hearing white people talk about how uh, uh you, you know they they insert uh, the the left inserts race into everything when these people think racism's not real. You your host the host on this show just said racism's not real and then she wants to say they insert racism in everything. No, if you're gonna deny that racism exists, especially in this country, and then sit here and say that we're the least racist nation, you are a fucking idiot into everything and all that does is pit people against each other and it doesn't allow us to get to any solutions oh my god lady what is your solution then 
How do we solve all of the things that discriminate against black people, Hispanic people, other type, other groups of minorities? How do we fix all of that? Because it doesn't sound like you're interested in passing legislation that would do away with some of that stuff. It doesn't sound like you care about that at all. So how do we address that problem, Nikki Haley? So their answer to everything is to blame everybody else for being racist, but not them. Completely fucking brainless. Airhead, 100 million percent. I, I, I can't even listen to her talk. It's making my brain cells die, guys. And we see how that's played out. Yeah, okay. Yep, that was the uh, that was it. That was the end of the clip. Um, if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, press that bell, turn on all notifications so you guys never miss one.